Are you junkyard? That's me. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Dave thought he had his day planned until we rolled up. He's in the garage, sitting by the wood-burning stove, chilling out, looking out over his sea of junk. How'd you get that name? Uh, collecting junk. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah. We got 32. Look at the cars. In this garage, there's a 32 Vicky. There's a 32 Roadster pickup. Extremely rare. This is it for us. This is the spot. Nice. I got guys stopping here all the time wanting to buy parts. Yeah. So which one are you going to get running first? I hope this one. This one here? I got the engine in the machine shop being built right now. This car was built in the 60s. I always had a crush for the 32 5 window coupe, especially after that movie they made in Modesto. American Graffiti. American Graffiti. Watched it the other night, actually, and it's a five window coupe racing a 55 Chevy. So, you know, I kind of hold the lore that, you know, hey, that movie's about my dad. You lived American graffiti. You're looking for something more complete once you take a trip around that pickup over there and head towards the back. Over this way? Yeah. All right. We're in luck. These guys want to play ball. They're willing to let us look around. There's a 48 Harley over there. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's the international language of junk. Oh, wow. It's a 1948 Harley Survey car. Look at that. It's a little buried, but. Has this, have you guys had this running? Uh, Dad used to ride this one. The Harley Survey car was used by municipalities, delivery agents. A number of police forces use these to enforce parking meters. Really, a 32 Roadster. Well, it's a Cadillac. Oh, Cut and Frank. Channel. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Man, you guys are going to do this one, aren't you? I hope so. It's an old hot rod. That looks fun, man. That Cavalier been sitting there it's 11 years since we've been here. I bought this from my friend. I hope to get it running before I die. <laughs> this reminds me of mine, man. No other car is more sought after to hot rod than the 1932 Ford. It was a masterpiece of industrial design and engineering. And with the introduction of the V8, the 32s brought the thrill of speed to the average guy. Everyone is looking for these cars. I have been lucky enough to find a 32 Ford Roadster body and a 33 Ford Coupe. Did your buddy, <laughs> did your buddy drop that axle? Is that a Dago axle? See, it's been bent here. Yeah. These modified axles lowered the stance of the front of the car. I mean, from what I know about it, it was down in San Diego, they call them Dago oh. axles. Stronger, lower, faster, cooler, and stone cold awesome. Is this your truck, the 32? Yeah. When I was young, I wanted to have a, one of each model. Well, there's 14 models, and I got as far as 10. Now I got four 32s. Have you really You've had that since the 60s? Yeah. No well, doubt. I got a 32 Vicky and a 32 Roadster pickup and a 32 closed cab pickup and a 32 Cabriolet hot rod. I love them all, but the 32 Roadster pickup would be the last one to leave. All right, so how long have you had the 32 Roadster pickup? At least 20 years. Yeah, it's got stock motor in it? Yeah. It's got 32 motor in it? Yeah, four by hand. They only made a little over 600. I know, though. those are rare, man. Those are very rare. Yeah, I found that in Modesto. Dave started talking about the 32 Roadster pickup. I knew it was off the table. I mean, this was his holy grail. All right, he's got bragging rights, man. He found an original 32 Ford Roadster pickup. Extremely rare, I think they only made like 600 of them. They reproduced the body of these vehicles because people want them, man. They're sought after. It looks solid, man. It looks really solid. This used to be a, it came from LA. It used to be a plumber's wagon. No doubt. This guy's rolling in 32s. It's good to be Dave. Has anybody gotten crazy and made you any offers on the Roadster pickup? They've been here forever. I'm sure I'm not the first guy that's asked about them. The guy in New York yelled for me 50,000. 50,000? And you passed on that. <laughs> Good for you, man. It's not always about the money. I was like, you were offered 50 grand and you turned it down? Dang. You like it. Everyone is looking for these cars. So when you see so many of them in one place, I mean, it's a mind bender, man. Especially not being able to buy them. Whoa. <laughs> Guess I didn't get to write it. <laughs> as far as freestyling goes, today wasn't bad. I mean, we didn't walk away with a car, but we got to talk shop with a couple guys that love them just as much as we do. All right, junkyard. Okay. Swap meet. It, it didn't hurt that much. They didn't take a 32, so I think they're welcome back. <laughs> See you guys. Here they go. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. 
It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.